Hello and welcome to Grand MA2 Basics in 3.1 Lesson 1 created by consultraining.com. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going to be going through the basics of MA2 and connecting MA2 to MA3D. So let's jump straight into it. So if you haven't used MA2 before, uh, you can download it off the MA website which is malighting.com and we're going to be using two applications. We're going to be using MA on PC and we're also going to be using uh, MA3D today. So let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect these two by applications. To do that, you click Setup. You click on Network Control and you need to make sure that you've started a session. You need to make sure that your station IP matches the IP that it needs to. So if you're using both applications on the same computer, you can set this to the local IP address of 127.0.0.1. If you're using it across uh, different hardware, so two computers, or you're using a desk and MA3D, you need to set that to an external IP. So in which case, for me, that would be 192.168.1.67. But since we're doing this locally, we're using 127. You then need to create a session and close it. So if you've used MA3D before, normally at this point, you've got the option of joining the session. In MA3.1, we no longer have this option. And what we need to do is in MA2, we now need to invite the uh, 3D session into the uh, system we're using. So to do that, you click on MA Network Configuration, click on the 3D tab, and then click Add Present. And it's going to detect our 3D session, and we just need to right-click and make that a session member. Once that's done, it's going to talk back, and it's going to synchronize across. Now we're connected, and we're ready to program. In our next lesson, we're going to cover patching fixtures into MA2 and manipulating them in 3D. Thank you for watching.